What's going on YouTube? This is ParkerLad88 coming at you with another video. Today I'm going to give you guys my take on Fire Fist that I like to call Transmodifist. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this deck profile. So first let's go ahead and start with the monsters. First of all, we have three copies of Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Bear. He is great spot removal. You send one fire formation spell or trap from your field to the graveyard and you get to pop a monster on the field. Plus, whenever he does battle damage, you get to search for a fire formation spell. So, that is always great as well. Next up, we have three copies of Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Rooster, also known as Chicken. Shouts out to Tech and Free Tag Force. So, what this guy does is whenever he's special summoned by the effect of a Fire Fist monster, you can add one Fire Fist monster from your deck to your hand. Also, once per turn, you can send one Fire Formation spell or trap from your field to the graveyard to search for another one and put it down. So, he's really great in helping you mix and match your Fire Formations and helping you do some nutty plays. Next up, we have two copies of Leopard. Leopard is the lone fire the deck. You tribute him, and you search for a fire from Ancient Stellar Trap. I actually want to bump him up to three, but I couldn't find a third one, so I might go ahead and take out one of the bears, or just find some way to make space for it, because I like to put Nemesis on the three access version over the four, so if that means that I don't need to run an extra bear that I can search off the tanky, then that'd be okay. But anyway, I want to run three of them shots, but right now we only have two. Next up, we have a monster that I like just for nutty plays. Brotherhood of the Fire Fist is Raven. So what Raven does, the only important um, effect that I'm going to mention, is when he's sent from the field to the graveyard, you can um, search for a Fire Formation spell and set it in your trap card zone. So this guy's really great, he combos really well with uh, another card in this deck, I'm sure you guys can guess what it is. And, but we'll get to that later. So, two of him. One copy of Dragon. Dragon just lets you do more nutty plays whenever a Fire Formation spell or trap is activated. While he's on the field, then you get to search for a uh, Fire Formation Trap and set it in your spell and trap card. Zone. Then you can toss two Fire Formations from your field in order to special summon a Fire Fist while trap the graveyard. Go for Raven, go for Rooster, just you know, go for whatever you want in order to extend your nutty combo. We have one copy of Gorilla. Gorilla is also great for spot removal. Pop the Fire Formation spell or trap in order to blow up a back row. Plus, whenever he destroys a monster, he gets to search for a Fire Formation spell. So he complements Bear very nicely and also bring in the S10. Then we have one copy of Brotherhood of Fire Fist Spirit. Spirit, whenever he's normal summon, you get to target one Fire Fist, fire fist monster with 200 or less defense. Special summon to the field. You can only synchro summon for these warrior type monsters with this guy. Helps you go for the main play that three axes is known for. So, one copy of him. You can only have one. Next up, support monsters, we have. Two copies of Coach Soldier Wolf Park. Because Wolf Park is a three, um, I'm running two of this guy. I really don't think he can run three. I feel like that's just kind of overkill, especially if you don't have any boards in your graveyard to expect the moment. In fact, you can do that once per turn. It's pretty nutty. So he lets you go for those instant range four plays. Next up, we have two copies of Crane Crane. Because once again, I like to put more access on the three axis version than the four axis. So two of this guy, when he summons, lets you go into your graveyard and get a level three. Like Spirit, or Raven, or any of the others. But mostly Spirit, because he's on the way on the uh, synchro play and going for the and whatnot. Two of him. One copy of Blaster, some more fires, great beating power, great spot removal, all that fun stuff. And that does it for all the monsters. Next up we have spells. We have two copies of MST, just for taking out that pesky back row. Then we have two copies of Fire Formation Yoko, i.e. Fire Formation Night Beam, Fire Fist Night Beam. We have two copies of Tensu. Tensu gives you an extra normal summon, which is always great for doing plays, and you kind of actually need it in order to go for the uh, three axis plays. Three copies of Tanky, because why not? And then the main card in the deck, the whole reason why run Fire Fist, Transmodifist. Three copies of Transmodify. Transmodify, you send one monster on your field to the graveyard, and then you set to summon another monster of the same type, and the same attribute, I believe, as well, 
It probably helps if I actually read the card. But anyway, and one level higher in special summoning. So you turn your greens into fours. And this is why I actually love Raven so much. Because you can normal summon out the Raven, send the Raven to the graveyard to get Bear, Gorilla, or Dragon. And then on top of that, Raven's back actually basically gives you a Fire Fist, uh, a Fire Formation, and it's on track card zone. So it's like a little, kind of like a plus two, or a plus one. Yu-Gi-Oh map. Yeah. Anyway, so this opens up a whole bunch of fun plays, and it's the entire reason why I run Fire Fist. Because I think this regular little Fire Fist is cool. And that does for all the spells. And next up, we're going to get into traps. We've got two copies of Tencent. Tencent says that you can flip this over and uh, give one of your Fire Fist monsters 700 attack, and when this is based on the field, based up on the field, your Fire Fist monsters or your Beast Warrior gain 300. So you basically gain an extra thousand for the Fire Fist that your opponent is attacking you to. So damage shall go over the time. One copy of Ten Ten, Ten Ten gets an extra layer of protection during main phase one. That Fire Fist monster is effectively negated, but it'll be unaffected by other card effects until the end of main phase one. So it's kind of lacking that way, but still just a nice little layer of protection at one. Plus, I need those targets for dragons. Next up, we have two copies of Call of Haunted, which is great with Wolf Bark, it's great with Raven to go with um, Modify plays, bring back your spirits, go for Synchro plays, Call of Haunted, and Call of Haunted. So we have two breakthrough skills, one solemn, one bondless, and then a, a, a fun tech card of mine, one copy of Full House. So because Full House says that you have to that you target two face ups on the period and reset, so my own use of fire formation, and blow those up, or I can blow up pendulum monsters, and I can take out three set spell traps. So I'm really doing spell trap removal in this card. And get some great use of my dead fire formation. Outside this use of dragons. So that does it for the main deck of Fire Fist. Let's run to the extra guy. First, we have two copies of Tiger King. Whenever he is exceed summoned, I can grab a Fire Formation spell and grab to set it. And on top of that, I can detach one to negate the effects of all monsters on the field, not these warriors, until the end of my opponent's entrance, I think. Anyway, so yeah, he's a great monster to go into. Pluses, pluses, pluses. Next up, we have Brother with the Fire Fist. Cardinal. What Cardinal does is if you catch two from him, then you target either two Fire Fists or Fire Formation cards in your graveyard or on your field. Send those back to your deck, shuffle it, and then you target two of your opponent's face up monsters or in the graveyard and you send those back to their deck. So he's really great at getting rid of things that can't be destroyed or you don't want to destroy. So he's a gun, great. Then we get to the generic stuff. We have the one copy of Cowboy, Dark Zelda, Dragon, Knight, Castell, 101. Moving into rank 3, we have 47 Nightmare and Dark. Really great at dealing that game when you blow if you need to. Since we are running a lot of 3s, and then we have one copy of Lion Emperor. He is a warrior returning the live for Fire Fist, so that's always great. You can get back your spirit, you can get back your bear, just whatever you need. Then we have the main. X deck monster, Force Prince, I'll end up to go for our crazy blessing, the three axes for part of this deck. One copy of Vulcan just helps with the bouncing, you can bounce the tank on your side of the field and bounce one of your opponent's face up monsters, even though you can't use that card in the same turn. But at the same time, he's really great just for getting rid of problem cards on the field. And then we have one copy of Celestial Ward from Sirius. So he is also at 6, so he's really easy to go into. He's got 24 under attack, which is also good. And if he is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, you target one monster and loses 24 under attack. So it's really good and makes a really easy run over in the next turn. So guys, that does it for my take on Fire Fist, Transmodifist. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll be back at you later with future videos. This is Parker Lad.